I'm going to talk about the future of working from home. Not surprisingly, hybrid work from home has just become totally dominant. They're about 30% of the population. They're about 50% of payroll. They're a huge driver. I'm going to talk mostly about this middle group. They are professionals, managers, typical university grads. The most common pattern is either three, two, three days in the office to a home or two, three. There are two big benefits of working from home. One is it's quiet. And secondly, it saves on commute. And the saving on commute is a big deal. The average North American or Brit saves around 70 minutes a day each day they work from home. So if you're an employer and you let somebody work from home two days a week, on average, you can expect them to work at about an extra hour a week for you. And of course, they have just over an, almost an hour and a half extra leisure. Work from home has a typically mild positive effect on productivity, 5%. We ask people, how would you value the option to work from home two, three days a week. On average, that thing is valued about 8%. Quit rates fell by about a third for people that were hybrid versus fully in person. Every demographic wants to work from home between two to three days a week. And typically people with young kids, minorities, disabled people, etc., have a slightly higher preference. When you put it together, work from home, hybrid at least, appears to probably increase productivity substantially improves employee well-being and happiness, reduces quit rates, and appears to support diversity. And so it's just become dominant. We're seeing a dramatic, probably one-third reduction footfall into British American offices. And that's leading to what we forecast, a very large reduction of retail expenditures, about $6,000 of expenditure per person per year. People are clearly leaving city centers. During the pandemic, there's a huge flow of people out of city centers, they cumulatively lost about 10% of the population. And I think a chunk of this is permanent. City tax revenues are under threat, business tax, re retail tax, all of this is under threat. And I think the most at risk is, is like mass transit. Since ridership is permanently down, maybe 30%, that's an enormous drop.